No, before you go. <laughs> what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Not Scary Farm Week here on the Knights of Horror. Today, we're going to talk about some things you should know before you attend the event this year. There's some new policies into effect. Uh, there's a lot of new rules into effect. And we're just going to tell you some comfort rules of our own that you could take into consideration that you want to try to make your experience a lot more comfortable and easy for you. Uh, let's start off with all the new information that Knotts has released. Uh, starting with the big one, obviously, the chaperone policy is going into effect as well into Not Scary Farm this season. We already had it into effect at the beginning or the end of July, uh, mid-July. They put it into effect, and now it is going to be going into Not Scary Farm as well, which basically means if you are under the age of 17, you must be accompanied by a legal guardian that is over the age of 18. Um so basically they're uh, kind of still you know trying to keep that down right now they want to make sure everyone has an enjoyable experience they want to make sure everyone is safe at the park and that is why they're bringing that over i heard it's actually working been working very well for the summertime it's not as crowded you can walk around and kind of just enjoy the park um so i guess it's working and we'll see how it works for not scary farm um but th uh, thoughts on the chaperone policy yeah, no, I think this is a, a, a great move forward uh, by Not Scary Farm. And I think a lot of other theme parks are moving that away. Um, um, because I, I don't think that the, uh, the event Not Scary Farm nor Not Scary Farm in general is supposed to be a daycare. Um, so I definitely think it's a, a good move going forward. Right, uh, and, and I think it's going to make the event uh, uh, far better. Not not saying that every child is a problem, but like in every group, there is a uh, some people that uh, do have a little bit too much fun, and uh, that fun does uh, impact uh, the experience of other guests as well as the talent. Right. Um, so I definitely think that this is a good move forward. Um, and it's just going to make it a, a more responsible affair. Um, th uh, for every three kids, you got to have a got to have a chaperone and uh, that chaperone's got to be with them. Um, um, so I definitely think it's, it's, it's not saying that kids aren't welcome. It's just saying, Hey, we just need a little supervision. Uh, next, if we can get some supervision on some other uh, unruly groups, that'll be big dubs, yeah. but that's not, that's not the time nor place. Uh, check out TV for that one. <laughs> uh, next policy I want to talk about is a pretty, uh, pretty uh, new one too. I've never, this is, they're implicating this for the 2022 season. So a lot of my people who like to take photography and everything, you might want to listen up on this a little bit. Guests may not bring bags larger than 6.5 inches by 4.5 inches by 2 inches of any kind, including purses, backpacks, or diaper bags into the park during Not Scary Farm. All bags will be subject to search. So you're going to want to get something that's uh, maybe a clear bag because it's easier to, to look through when it's time to search um, or something that is very small that will keep your uh, belongings with you that you need to bring. Um, just it's going to be easier on you, especially if you go to Not Scary Farm, getting through security, especially when it gets later in the season, gets a little bit harder and harder um, and it's longer and longer. So you want to be in the right. You want to be have your stuff ready to go, ready for a search and, and just make sure that you have what you what you need to have with you at all times. It makes going through security a lot easier for you. But for me, uh, like last haunt season, I actually own a uh, Tricks the Trickster fanny pack. So I wear that around my chest uh, and I just bring my, my camera batteries and, and my, you know, my wallet, my keys, my phone and uh, get ready. And I have my camera in hand, so I'm ready to go for a um, security check all the time. And it's makes it relatively easier on me, too. So, yeah, definitely. And it's going to make uh, the experience of getting into the park a little bit better because it'll be a lot quicker um, with less bags. Um, and like if you do need some. Uh, if you need a larger bag for like medical reasons or something of that sort, I recommend contacting the park directly and then maybe be able to help uh, you figure out that part. Cause I know that some people may need uh, different things. Um, so uh, it's, it's not a one size fits all, but it, you know, uh, definitely do keep in mind. That's what they're asking is that it fits into that 6.5 by 4.5 by two. Um, and so uh, less bags get you through security quicker. Um, and it's overall just, uh, you know, like it or not, it's the policy. And so we do have to abide by it by going to scary farm. Yeah. You gotta, you know, it is private property too. So you gotta abide by their rules. Um, it's private property open to the public. So you gotta, 
uh, you know, abide by the rules and everything. Uh, this one, this is something that we constantly advocate on Nights of Horror. And I don't feel like we have to say it, but that, then at the same time, I feel like we have to say it because there are some people out there that take this to a whole nother level. Do not touch the scare actors. It's plain and simple. And that is uh, inappropriate con uh, conduct or behavior may include, but not limited to, verbal or other disruptive engagement with other customers. Belligerent behavior, which I'm assuming is like being rowdy and disruptive and whatnot. Yeah, typically belligerent behavior is a result of being under the influence of uh, substances, whether that be alcohol or other right. drugs um, that may make you a little bit uh, hyped, get you onto that level 15. Yeah, make um, you out of a little bit more you than you are regularly. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, just uh, re remember you're there for a good time. Yeah. Um, um, and so respect the actors, respect the employees, and respect, respect the each other. Props, decorations, trim pieces, um, no taunting, challenging, or otherwise confronting characters, or running or pushing. Just go and have a good time. Yeah. You don't have to be bigger or better than your friends just everyone have a good time remain calm you know just just be chill have a good time because you're there for a fun time you're not there to get kicked out of the park and potentially never welcome back ever again yeah you spent a lot of money to get there let's yeah. be honest um so just uh, you know if you are gonna drink or if you're gonna be under the influence of any anything else <laughs> not recommended but if you are just uh, be in a good, happy state, and uh, let's not be angry, um, and, and just re remain in control. Yeah. No need to, to yell, to fight, or anything of that sort. Yeah, man. You're there for a very good time. Let's have a good time. It only comes once a season. Let's enjoy it. Correct. You know? It's uh, like, like I'm saying, it's not, a, it's not a bad thing to, like, sit there and watch those characters and then kind of, like, be like, hey, you know, like, give them a compliment if they walk by. Like, that was really cool, you know? I mean, I do that all the time. I'm like, hey, that was really good scare and then they then character they'll they come up with some good stuff but just be respectful you know what i mean like you don't have to like don't try to fight them don't try to taunt them just don't it, it's a waste of your time the monsters don't like it anymore because it makes their job hard at that moment and it completely unfocuses them for what they're trying to do to which is their job to scare you and 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 sell this story so let them do their jobs just enjoy the event <laughs> yeah I, I, another thing we just want to highlight as well is uh don't use your flashlight yes not a good do idea do not use any flash <laughs> of the light from your phone in this especially yeah. in ghost town but everywhere no yeah. mazes uh scare zones because it, it you know the monsters wear a lot of makeup some of them wear contacts so it's already hard enough for them as it is to kind of walk around and see but they do their absolute best and they and they look like professional doing it but then when you shine a light in their face it really hurts especially when you're going from dark to immediate light it yeah. hurts their eyes it hurts their their line of sight it kind of blinds them for a little bit it's like going in a dark room and then coming out and seeing the sun you know yeah. what i mean it's 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 not fun for anybody so please respect the the scare actors let them do their job. Do not shine a light in their face. They're there to entertain you, not to be your paparazzi. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then these, these next rules are just kind of things that, um, I think it's just basic from Sammy and I, that stuff that we found that gives us a nice comfortable time at the event to last all night. Um, wear some comfortable clothes and shoes, uh, and be sure to check the weather on the night you're going because uh, it may be a warmer night, especially lately in California. The afternoons have been a lot hotter. Um, it wouldn't get really, really kind of like 60-ish degrees until like about midnight or stuff. So plan accordingly as far as what you're going to wear. If you are someone who sweats a lot like Sammy and I, maybe go for the short sleeve option. Um, but have a jacket on hand for the end of the night so you can kind of be bundled up with the, you know, with sweat comes water and with the air comes you being colder. So uh, that's me. Then, that, yeah, that's Sammy right there. And then of course, wear some comfortable shoes because you are going to be doing a lot of walking and standing around in lines and you want to make sure your feet are in the best comfort possible. That way you're not, you know, having any blisters or anything or, you know, you, you just don't feel uncomfortable the next day. So wear some comfortable walking shoes, highly recommended. Um, what else? 
probably buy a sipper cup if you're only if you're coming if you plan on coming multiple nights. You know, so- yeah, yeah. If you're coming multiple nights, you can get the season si- sipper cup. If you're coming one night, they offer a one night thing. Yeah. Um. So, uh, definitely recommend staying hydrated. Uh, because yeah. it is especially if you get there early. Um, as we 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 recommend is getting there early. Um, so that way you can get through security uh, and and make the most of your time there because you're either only going to be there from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. or 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. depending on the closure of the or how late the the park closes. Right. Um, so get there early. Um, if you if if you find that you're someone that does need a lot of fluids, me, um, go ahead and get that sipper cup. That way you can get some refills throughout the night uh, and, and stay hydrated. Um, especially if you're gonna you know it's gonna be a lot of walking. Um, so comfortable shoes, get there early, uh, stay hydrated. Um, uh, I, I, the other recommendation is have a positive attitude. That's, uh, that's yeah. important. Positive attitude. Uh, I mean, take advantage of the, t- the different ticket add-ons, especially with buffet and stuff that will keep you very stuffed for the night, get you that sipper cup as well, and get you that early entry as well. So really plan uh, how you want to do it and, and know – these facts before you go there's much more on their website so if you have any other questions about the event that's something we didn't cover we kind of covered like the basic new ones and stuff but there's plenty more on their website that you can go look at to see what you can bring in what you can't bring in what's the policies and whatnot just so you're in the know that have the easiest and most comfortable experience at not scary farm for 2022 with all that being said my name's anthony i'm sam and we are the knights of horror and we will see you in the fog peace Give them the love